Yeah. Okay, so, introduction. Introduction. Hello, thank you for watching. Um, my name is Pascal, and uh, we're gonna do the Kvetun bag back, review. Back. Backpack back. and the weapon case. So, uh, a, a while ago we tried to... Shall I hold it? Or yeah, that's yeah. easy. Yeah. Okay. So, a while ago we tried to... Or, or we uh, did an order for Kvetun. And um, we, we really wanted uh, a, a customized bag with a logo of our club on it. Um, so we actually have three versions uh, <laughs> made <laughs> eventually. Uh, which one of the, the... Okay, I'm gonna show you first what the idea was of the bag. Yeah. So the first idea was uh, this blue one. No, the, the black one. The, yeah. It's it's a bit complicated. When we ordered it, we wanted uh, black on the outside and blue on the inside. Like you can see here, and the straps yellow. If you see the example there, there is the miscommunication, as you can call it, where the blue is on the outside and the black is on the inside. So uh, you got this one? Yes. Uh, I d when we had this order, so like Jeroen told, this one was actually the one that went bad uh, or was a miscommunication because it's blue on the outside and black on the inside. But um, I like colors a lot and I thought it was a very nice color mix. So I was like, I'm fine with this. And beside that, um, we were allowed to have a discount on it. So that was very nice. And they made the black ones for the persons who uh, wanted the black one. Um, so I thought that was a very good Com com compromise. Compromise, thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, a part of the club didn't want it and wanted the ordered one because they don't want to be a Swedish club. We are from the Netherlands, not from Sweden. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, th that's that. Um, I didn't order with the club uh, thing. I ordered my own design with the uh, own logo from the, from, the, from the YouTube channel here. And uh, also the weapon case with a um, trolley or what's a good name uh, for uh, w with wheels. <laughs> yeah, I wanted wheels, so uh, they, they couldn't do something that was uh, internal into the bag. So they just put a uh, trolley that you can carry around and push around. Um, yeah, so that was my uh, thing. So black on the outside, like the HVN uh, ordered it, and uh, yeah. So, the bag itself. So, the backpack is actually quite really nice because it, uh, uh, it fits well on your bag and also the straps on the, the hips uh, are very nice. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to show you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I do not carry them. I roll them. So, that's why I ordered it. I didn't want to uh, carry it, but it's an, uh, very convenient to carry. Or inconvenient? Very convenient. Convenient to carry. So, the weapon case and the backpack you can carry combined yeah so the the really nice part of this bag is uh the hips uh, uh strap is very nice in the front as well but uh, as you might can see right now um i put my size a bit too big because my boyfriend is sometimes <laughs> carrying it around and yeah. that i think is also a downsize from the backpack is that you just don't yeah it's not very um easy to pull it so it's tighter it, it doesn't stay in the shape that you want it. No, 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 it does stay in the shape that you want it, but you can't just, when you carry it around, like pull it for uh, uh, to make it tighter. Yeah. Only this one I just... Yeah, this one. Yeah. Um, so therefore, if you want to uh, adjust the size, you have to put it off and then do the straps um, one by one. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any... I don't have... I don't have any experience with that, so, um, but, yeah, <laughs> but this is the way how to carry it. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the inside of the backpack. Yes. Now you have to deassemble it. Does it take long to assemble and deassemble? I don't think so. I mean, they're just clip-ons, so um, you can just put it off and then it opens. Okay. I, I find it a good size. The, the backpack is a good size. You can put uh, every, every stuff that you need for a tournament in it and extra. So extra gloves, extra... What do you also need extra with uh, whatever? Um, 
even for a large size like I am, I have always four pair of gloves. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, conveniently my gloves break sometimes from a tournament, so it's nice to have extra. But um, so I still have here some extra space, uh, and, um, and and my uh, uh, pants still needs to go in it. But it's not extra. Mostly I put it here, and it's still whole. Um, yeah, you can talk, then I just assemble it. Yeah, for me it's about the same. Uh, everything fits in quite well. I'm still. But that could be just me, like, okay, this has to be on this side and this has to be there to uh, make it all fit. But that could just be me as well, that I want it in the same way. Uh, still, I also have a lot of space left, so that's very nice. Um, and I don't think it's very long for putting stuff in or out. So that, that that's very nice about it. The backpack is uh, mo uh, mostly a, go a good sh uh, chase. The only thing I can say about it, I think it will carry out a long time um, maybe the, the straps here can get uh, loose uh, quickly if you pull too hard on it to strap it um, strap it better if you have a tight uh, a tight uh, backpack then it can get loose but most of the time if you just uh, handle it with care it will be great um, from the trolley I can say the wheels are, are annoying they uh, like to bend inwards that they are not like that so you want to do have this all of the time but if you write them they go inside this and then it doesn't work that well anymore i had one more point um it, it actually took me a while and and some help of someone of hvn to figure out how the webbing case fits on the backpack okay. so um yeah i had some help from a friend and he told me yes you just put it in the three middle straps and it actually works really well just like i was carrying it earlier on but now we can go for the weapon case so the weapon case is a bit more fragile uh, for my it already has some issues like uh, the zipper and the the material within so at the bottom of of it you already have uh, some holes of um swords poking through it so it's not without the uh yeah, without uh, uh, what's the sentence? Well, what I want to say is, is that because it pokes to it, it gets directly on the zipper, and the zipper can get uh, broken like hers. Yeah, so uh, it it got stuck, and you cannot close it. Yeah, my zipper has a bit of a bum in it, but that's mostly because my swords are, of course, from steel and uh, the zipper is from plastic so therefore the pommel actually i think it's the pommel broke it so therefore i'm not uh, um, able to open it or close it farther than this um i have another club mate who which was the the zipper entire broken and i just had the the, the black one is from also from another club mate and i know this this one is also not um easy for opening so the zipper is broken i will show you So this one cannot close at all. No. Was was this one from Max? No, it's from Cynthia. Cynthia, so two people in our club ha have the problem that they cannot close the zipper anymore. So they have, so yeah, so it's practically unusable. I find one times uh, a thing, a two times still and three times because here it only stops here you you can still close it you your own one but but yeah but not entirely to to the back so here stops it and you she cannot go to this part so three times the issue that the zipper dysfunction the this functions this functions so for uh, a backpack it's custom you do do it for uh that uh, it's specifically made for uh, swords. You can carry like four of them in inside of it, but uh, it's fragile, too fragile to to have it because uh, within a few months it breaks down and you cannot use it anymore. Yeah. So going through on the inside, uh, you have the clippers, 
and the bags can just stay inside. I will put it on the side so you can see it a bit, but it didn't open all that much. So you see how the swords can be inside of the bag. I hope it's on the camera. Um, I fortunately don't have the fabric that's broken. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. But on the other hand, uh, I don't use my bag a lot of times. Um, and when I'm carrying it around, it goes inside the car and outside the car, and that's about it. We haven't traveled uh, with it yet, so not uh, through uh, air, uh, air, to the air, to the airplane. airplane. So only we handled it, and we suppose maybe someone else just throws it around and whatever and maybe it got broken more um i i am not too happy about uh, the weapon case uh, if i if i can uh, hear it for my clubmates and yeah I, i'm a few of the lucky ones that still is uh fully functional but yeah i do find it very pretty though oh yeah <laughs> So that's for the good side. I think it's a very pretty weapon case and I think if you put another zipper on it that's maybe metal or whatsoever that um, it will be less. I think so. Made for metal? Yeah, you have metal or, or steel zippers. What is it? You have the not plastic ones. Okay. <laughs> so that could be maybe something to um, invest in for the weapon bag because we had one of the club mates who only ordered the weapon bag and paid a lot of money because of the customs and now it's already broken so that's unfortunate so the price uh the equipment bag is uh just only the backpack no that's the the bag without the straps yeah. there's one uh one. Hi, you have two, two different kinds but we all ordered the we uh there are two different kinds but we all ordered one with the uh straps. plate the plate and straps so the pl you have a plate in the back uh from the more expensive backpack and you have uh, straps that go around your body so the equipment bag is 140 the weapon case only is a 90 euros the backpack so the one i have with the plate and the straps is 200 and the backpack with the weapon case is 250. okay so we remembered it yeah, we remembered it as it was only the weapon case, we didn't call uh, the price. That's that. Uh, so, overall review, conclusions. Um, it took a long time. It, 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 it took a long time, so uh, we had uh, miscommunication in the first part um, about the wrong colors. The blue ones, yeah. The blue ones. And the blue ones on the outside, black ones on the inside. We wanted the black ones on the outside, blue on the inside. And that took some months extra, so we ordered it in. I don't know the, the date, but I do know they delivered it in two separate orders. Yeah, so yeah. first the blue one and afterwards the black one. And that made also for two times the customs. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we, yeah. Also shipping cost was uh, paid by them because of uh, it. Yeah. yeah. So if you do a big group order, you can uh, save money, but you really want it to be in one go. So it only goes to customs once and yeah. So I check what the delivery time was. The delivery time, uh, one, one month. It, it was always one month. Uh, by, okay. by sending them from Russia to us, it was one month. And the delivery time from ordering to getting it, maybe half a year, maybe something more. And it, yeah, and mo most of the time they always go over the estimated time. So that's all, yeah. So long. Yeah, we all, we all, uh, we did uh, before that also order um, um, leg protection, arm protection with an whole club and swords and whatever. But uh, that there was also a miscommunication and uh, it also took more time than than expected we ordered it in august we could uh, order extra in uh, until october but it still went over it and we only got it in march or something yeah it, in in the app i found that i ordered it in march and we got it everything in november yeah that is the backpacks yes yeah, okay yeah oh you mean the, the yeah the the the, the, the yeah. 
the new yeah, production. Yeah, also took a long time. Yeah. So they can do a bit better or co on, on communication and on, yeah, on... About that, about the communication, at first it was really hard also with the, the uh, wrong order and whatsoever, but I noticed that they picked that up. Okay. So they, they improved the communication and therefore I still hope that it's going to get even better. Yeah. So. Yeah, now we're moving into uh, Georgia. 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 <laughs> Georgia. Georgia is the name. And also to the Czech Republic, they have an uh, outpost. So they are going outside of Russia. Currently you cannot order it, but hopefully in a few months or time it will be. Bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.